Hello, fellow fellow warriors. Welcome back to Fanzine. Greg here. And today, I have you, the future of streaming looks a lot like broadcast cable television. Isn't it that just funny? Isn't that funny? You know, everybody, let's cut the cord. Let's go streaming. Streaming is awesome. It's got everything we ever want. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it has it for quite some time. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have heard, but I'm going to go over this here in a minute. Uh, Disney Plus, which is a failing streaming service. It is a failing streaming service. Uh, they've come up with that brilliant ideal of TV, just TV, good old fashioned broadcast cable TV, you know, so I'm gonna pop up this article here for you guys. It says, um, Disney reportedly wants to bring always on channels to Disney plus the channels could include content dedicated to star Wars, Marvel, Pixar, and more the information reports. <laughs> so let's get into this and, uh, we'll, we'll figure this out. What, what's it say? What's it says? It says, um, the revamped Disney Plus app could soon feature always-on channels dedicated to Star Wars and Marvel shows, according to a report from The Information. The channels, which are reportedly similar, similar to those on ad-free supported streaming services like Pluto or Tubi, could take away the choice when it comes to picking out what to watch next. In addition to Star Wars and Marvel series, Disney's lineup of channels could feature stations that continuously stream Disney classic animated films or movies from Pixar. The Information reports, even though viewers would need a Disney Disney Plus subscription to tune into the channels, they will likely still contain ads, just like traditional television. Something about this seems very familiar. Nothing brings people together quite like cable TV. Be there as news happens, catch all out sports action, rock to the hottest music, and the coolest kids shows. Call now for your best deal on cable. And to really get your entertainment's worth, get the premium channels. Showtime explodes with big time excitement. HBO delivers knockout entertainment. The movie channel gives you a great movie anytime you want one. And Cinemax brings you over 170 movies each month. Call now because now installation's just $9.95 when you order cable. Plus, get two premium channels of your choice and two bonus channels for only $19.95 or less a month. There, you see? Cable has something for everyone. So call now and get your entertainment's worth. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. This is very much like broadcast and cable television. Just, I mean, let's just think about this, right? You could pay, look at that, back then that cable ad, $9.95 a month for cable. That, that's ridiculous. It's well over $200 now. Uh, and with streaming it's even going to get more uh, streaming is just just anyways but let's think about this right you would you pay you would have a subscription to a cable company or something right and you would get what they have and yeah they would have commercials and stuff but you weren't like really paying for the commercials in a sense you were just like paying for a premium service uh which you're doing with streaming and then now uh with the, I predict with this, which we'll get into the more more of the story here is like what Disney's probably going to do is they'll probably have sort of maybe a free tier if you subscribe, but you'll definitely have to pay them in some way. I'm not really sure how it's going to go. We'll get into it. But then, you know, maybe you want more exclusive content like the movie channel or Showtime or HBO Max. Oh, well, in their sense, maybe you want the Star Wars channel. Maybe you want the uh, Marvel channel. Maybe you want the Pixar channel. Maybe you want the classic Disney channel. Well, you're going to have to pay extra on top of that. It's going to start nickeling dime you. Yeah, you'll pay one set fee for maybe ad tier or maybe a non-ad tier tier. And then within those tiers will be tiers so you can pay for more money to get another tier of a tier of a channel like a premium channel. Very much like cable and broadcast tv it is so revolutionary why didn't i think of this i mean i mean why why couldn't i think of, i would love to know the executive that thought up this ideal of broadcast cable television that's just make streaming that <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous uh another reason why i really hate streaming uh, it, this article continues. It says there still aren't any details about when the new channels could launch and Disney declined to comment. However, the rumored move aligns with Disney's goals to, of keeping viewers glued to its Disney Plus app, which now includes a tile for Hulu. I'm not glued to it. I don't pay for it. I don't like Disney Plus. I don't have Hulu. Uh, I think this is ridiculous the way they're doing this. Uh, 
it's cable TV. It's just cable TV. It's absolutely stupid. It says, it also reflects the growing popularity of free ad-supported streaming TV fast. It's called Fast TV or whatever. Uh, l- last week's report from Bloomberg revealed that viewers are spending more time watching the Fox-owned Tubi when compared to Peacock, Max, and Paramount+. Plus. That's because... Even though, that's because Tubi is basically like what you would get. It operates different from streaming. I've talked about it's more like actual broadcast television. It has advertisers. It's free. It's very much like old school cable because like on Tubi, they have all these like weird stuff, weird shows, weird movies, independent film. And back in the day, like when uh, TV first started up and then when cable first started up, they really needed entertainment to show. And so they would buy up these weird movies. That's why so many of us and myself included remember so many weird movies and stuff from cable and TV back in the day. It's much like where the monster vision and USA up all night and all that sort of comes from and stuff like that, because they would buy up these B movies or movies and TV shows that nobody watched and or TV shows from the past. And they would constantly play to help fill out blocks of time. And they would, you would find some really weird stuff on cable and uh, TV lit back in the day. And so to be sort of reminds people of that, and it operates sort of like a TV station that just streams, you know, and also on Tubi, you can actually pick, you know, you can go through the catalog and pick, uh, and or you can just stream it. And, you know, that's also something I sort of like about uh, uh, other services like that. I mean, I'm not much into streaming, but I kind of like that idea. It's like it feels like cable. And so Disney, in order to try to compete with that, and most of the other streamings are probably going to follow suit because they're stupid as shit and think this is a great idea. When I think this is going to hurt them in, long, in the long run, I think it's going to cost more money. It's going to go well above the means of cable because, like I said, in some cases, you have to actually pay a cable service to have internet. Maybe you're not getting cable through them, but you're still paying cable service for internet or other internet. So you're paying the internet bill, this streaming bill, this streaming bill, this streaming bill. And also if you want exclusives on that streaming channel that you're paying for, you're going to have to pay more to get that exclusive because there's more, more movies, more shows behind a paywall within a paywall. So it's absolutely ridiculous. And it's just, it's, I, I, I don't get it. It's the dumbest ideal. This is the dumbest. It's stream. Can we all just agree that streaming is a failed system that it flopped and flopped hard. It is nowhere near what was promised. And, um, I, for one, I'm, I'm glad to see it start to go down. And I, I would love to see them implement this across all the streaming services and just see how bad it gets from there on up because it's getting worse. You know, and the article concludes by saying Amazon also houses always on channels with Prime Video within Prime Video through its fast service Freebie. Unlike what Disney's reportedly planning, though, anyone can watch Freebie without a description. So remember that even if you want to watch, even if Disney, if they're making a free ad uh, plan like Tubi for Disney, you still have to subscribe to Disney Plus to get that. Just remember that. And uh, it says um, a service dedicated app as long as it sticks around. The cablefication, look, the, the cablefication of streaming will likely become a broader trend in the future as Disney, Disney also plans to launch a streaming only version of ESPN, ESPN along with a live sports streaming package with Warner Brothers Discovery and Box. So, like, right, right there it ends, right there. It's, it's, there you go, have it. They're all going to sort of go in this direction of basic broadcast ta- cable TV. It's so cool, right, guys? Streaming is awesome. It, it, it's everything we could ever want. We cut that cord, and now we got it's streaming and everything. Wait, I can't watch this movie. Wait, I can't. The license, what? They pulled it, put it. They took that down. They're never going to play it. What? Now I got to pay if I want, like, a, a premium within a premium. I got to pay. They're going to nickel dime. This is, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> Oh, guys, guys, this is why I use typically stick with physical media. I, I, I find a lot of good stuff on physical media that I've never seen or that I remember seeing from late night cable that maybe escaped me or that I had vague recollections of. And, and I just this I had to do a video on this once I found out about this, because I think this is the stupidest decision streaming just what i think streaming can't get any stupider it gets stupider i would just it just it boggles my mind that there, there was a boardroom meeting is like we're, we're failing our streaming is failing what do we do how do we get people to stick in their homes all day every day never leave get fat and lazy and watch our content because this content is not entertainment how do we get them to do this uh sir maybe we uh you know give them broadcast TV cable, you know, with ads and and maybe we'll do like a Marvel package like HBO or something. What do you think? Brilliant, Johnson. Brilliant. Put a chick in it, make her lame and gay and move on. <laughs> I just, I just, I see that. I just see it. it's, it's insanity. It's dumb. 
uh, I will not be doing this. I will continue not to do this. And it's okay if you like streaming and if you do streaming, that's fine. I've always said that. I'm not a fan of it. If you guys do streaming and you like streaming, that's fine. If you like, like I know I did a video on Tubi talking about how they edit it. And yes, I still think it's wrong that they edit everything, but I think Tubi is an amazing st free streaming service for people. And I can understand why so many people tune into it. And I'm glad it's still around for independent filmmakers. I just wish they would not always have to bow down to the advertisers and edit certain content, but, but that's besides the point. I mean, stick with Tubi. If you stream, just stick with Tubi. You'll find all kinds of really cool st stuff on Tubi. Uh, don't don't be stupid and do this Disney Plus thing. There's not that much stuff on there. Most of the time, Disney's ashamed of what they made in the past and the stuff they they bought and corrupted. Star Wars, Marvel, Pixar, they've corrupted it. It's not worth watching. It's not worth paying a dime for. I, I, I just, I won't do it. I won't do it. I refuse to do it. I refuse to pay streaming services this way, period, any streaming service. Um, I just, I'll stick with my physical media, but let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Are you guys, do you guys think this is going to be the next wave of cable TV, broadcast cable TV? Are you going to do this? Are you going to continue to support them and do this and pay the pay, pay the tier within the tier within the tier? Let me know all that in the comment section down below what you guys thought about this and this video. And if you liked what you saw here, maybe consider hitting that like button or subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. That would be awesome if I earned you guys' subscriptions or possibly share the video out for everybody to see. Or join and become a channel member because that would be awesome if I earned your channel membership because that would help out my channel immensely. Thank you and shout out to all my channel members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for being channel members here and for all of you guys' support. And to everybody watching, whether you like me, hated me, or liked this video, or hated this video, I thank you for sticking this long. Wherever you all are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening and night always support physical media it truly is the superior format definitely definitely over what streaming has become now godspeed